Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss our top about a topic, the project assumption. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Basically, friend, project assumption is a very very important topic as defined by uh, PMBOK guide project management body of knowledge and uh, with respect to exam point of view PMP exam point of view it is very important and you must see at least five to ten uh, questions in the exam in which your knowledge or your concept about assumption will be definitely checked so now if we talk about in detail project assumption so that means something which is related to project whenever we are implementing or whenever we are doing any project every project is unique and every project has to be done cannot be done in isolation we are implementing project with different people uh, with different stakeholders and different scope we whenever we are implementing project we have to accept we have to uh, assume few things which may be right, which may be correct, or which may be true, or which may be false. Uh, that means, for example, let me give you an example here. For example, you are uh, implementing a project and uh, the team is going on site or at the customer site. And you are assuming, being a project manager, that the internet would be available at site. When uh, the team goes on the site and the customer side they realize that the internet connection is not available due to certain reason so see see what happened actually that being a project manager because you have to complete a project so you assume something which must be which you are being a th uh, you are thinking that it must have to be true uh, there are high chances that it must be true but in reali uh, realistically it was not correct it was false actually internet connection was not available on site so basically assumption is basically something uh, which you are assuming about a project but it may be true it may be false being a project manager you must have to consider all the assumptions and you must have some backup places backup policy as well for for uh, for the assumption for example let's take the same example here you, the team was going at site so you are assuming the internet connection would be available however you can do like you can provide some uh, the wireless internet connection device at least one a wireless internet connection device to some a team member so that if the internet connection would if not available so at least you have some uh, connective would be there or you can say to team member to use the data connection of the mobile as well so they can use at least the uh, use, so they can they can use at least the email communication as well so basically friend according to the project management institute pmi the definition of a project assumption is any factor relating to a project that is considered to be true real or certain without any empirical proof or demonstration in other words project assumptions are simply the things you assume to be true for your project success basically that means without any proof you are assuming anything see in uh, realistically its uh, assumption is very very dangerous because you are assuming that the resources would be available for the completion of a project you are assuming if any without any proof you are assuming that the resources would be available so it's, it's an assumption it may be correct it may be not it may be not remember if assumption is not true it will be having a very high impact on the completion of a project now if we talk about few examples here of assumption for example uh, your team will uh, there are uh, few examples of assumption that your team will complete milestones according to this schedule like they will uh, complete the quality assurance they will complete the project deployment so all these are the assumption you are assuming you are assuming that supplier will deliver the right item on time they will deliver the hardware on time for example 
you are assuming that your employees are capable of completing necessary tasks they have all the necessary required skills or necessary capability technical skills they have to complete the project you are assuming that uh, there will not be any act of god like uh, rain uh, earthquake will not interrupt your progress of a project you are assuming that cost wouldn't change throughout the course of the project many times you are assuming that there will be not there will not be any change in the cost but due to certain reason due to certain inflation reason the cost would change and the there are uh, there are a huge change for example especially it happens in the projects of construction like the raw material cost uh, increase due to inflation in the country at the time of in, uh, initiation or planning the cost of construction was different at the time of execution it's totally become high so there are so many assumption see here basically these are the assumption and it may be true it may be false as well if it false it will have a huge impact see here you are temp- uh, like you are assuming that your employees or team members are comp- uh, capable to complete the project but in fact they are not capable they are not having the uh, right skills or required skills for uh, complete the project now see what will happen in that case being a project manager you will be in a huge trouble if your team is not having the right skills see this is the factor you must have to consider that if the assumption is not true there will be a huge impact on the project and being a project manager you have to face all the uh, fire or you have to face all the problems in that case if assumption is uh, become false now here is a question that why project assumptions are important to consider basically a friend realistically it's impossible and irresponsible to plan a project without making assumptions fall assumption without backup plans can hinder your project at any phase of the project management life cycle basically friend see it's true and that uh, you must have to uh, it's not it's impossible to do a project without any assumption it's very true like you are assuming that the uh, required resources would be available you are assuming that the sitting arrangement for resources would be available you are assuming uh, that uh, team would have the uh, required skills for a project but see from here but if you are assuming all the things it's wrong you must have to identify all the assumption and you must have some backup policy in your mind in in some document as well that if that assumption is become false so what you will do in that case what is the approach what is the uh, what is the approach in that case if project assumption become false so you must have all the uh, you must have to identify all the assumption you can make some excel sheet for for project assumptions and you must have some backup policy as well that if that particular project assumption become false so what you will do in that case for example if internet connection not available on the on the side so what you will do if the team doesn't have the required skills what you will do if required skill required team members are not available or uh, as per the schedule so what you will do in that case so being a project manager you must have to consider all those things and you must have the uh, must have the backup policy in your mind as well that if project assumption become false so what you will do in that case as well then uh, the best practices for project assumption first friend assess all the potential uh, assumption like what are the assumption in your project so what you can do you can just make the uh, excel sheet you can say you can make the assumption log and uh, you can do the uh, you can make a excel sheet here and discuss with your team member and identify all the assumption log here and also you must have the uh, see, see who is responsible uh for the assumption what are the assumption what are the impact on the project like high impact low impact and for the assumption which are having high impact on the project you must have some backup policy as well for those uh, assumption as well then integrate the assumption integrate the assumption means friend basically that you must have to identify the assumption then uh, then integrate 
with the uh, with the project with the project means that you must have uh, see what uh, with respect to scope what are the assumption how you will manage the assumption if they if they are true so obviously uh, it doesn't have any uh, negative impact on the project if they are not true how will you manage those assumption then maintain control controlling means that you are having meetings with the customer with the stakeholders with the uh, different uh, persons and controlling those uh, assumptions controlling means the controlling the impact of the assumption here for example you notice that teams are uh, you were assuming the team is fully capable for uh, to complete the project you have realized after some time the team doesn't capable enough to complete a project so you can uh, you can arrange a training for them for example you are assuming the internet connection would be available on site so it was not available so what you can do you can arrange the wireless internet connection for the team member or you can ask the team members to use their data connection of mobile then do a post project review whenever a project is completed at the completion of a project you can have the uh, post project review meeting with the stakeholders with the employees with the customer and see try to take the same excel sheet of assumption log with you and review it with your team member whether the assumptions which you have uh, identified in the project whether it was true or false if it was for, for, uh, if, if, if they were false so what was the backup policy which was used also you can discuss with your team member that how you can improve your strategy of identification of project assumptions and also the backup policy for project assumption as well that if they are not true for what you will do in that case as well in the last friend uh, it is also very important to understand that what are uh, what project assumptions are not many times friend it happens that we we basically mix uh, the assumption with other factors other things like constraints and project risk for example uh, constraints are the risk of constraints are the limitation of the project for example we have a constraint that you can only use five resources in a project so this is a constraint you can only use 5000 of budget this is a constraint so basically a friend a project constraint is different similarly project we also mix uh, the assumption with the risk risk is basically anything which can positively or negatively impact a project for example you are launching a campaign uh, of for your project either it will and uh, and you are introducing a new model in the project so you there is a risk that the people will may like the new model or may not like the new model if they like the new model so it will become an opportunity for you it they if they not like the new model they it will become a impact they will become a basically a problem for you so remember friend always remember that assumption is different from project constraints and risk and whenever you are implementing a project do not mix the assumption with the project risk and constraint as well so friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video